Yes, yes, come here. Come here, little dreamer. There you are. You haven't met me, but you know me. We have met many times within your dreams. For I control your dreams, or, well, I suppose it'd be better to say that I create the realm in which your dreams occur. No, you cannot move. You are asleep. You are experiencing an out-of-body experience. Your body, as it sits just below you is asleep, but I have pulled your consciousness out as you are drifting off into my realm, because I am curious about you. The mage who, well, I would say keeps you whom you have decided to live with, or visit with, or whatever your intentions are. He is one of my followers. Yes, he worships me and makes offerings to me. My name, my name is too. Too old to be remembered by most, and my true name cannot be understood by you. No, and you need not tell me your name. I have known you. I have known you since the first you dreamed. Yes, and truthfully, I am curious about you. Yes, come here. I wish to examine you. I am curious about you. And why my devoted follower has decided to take you in as his... Well, I'm not quite sure what you are to him yet. Partner test subject, pet, it's hard to say, friend maybe, hmm. I suppose friend would be the most likely, but he is an antisocial one like myself, he does not often make friends, and so what do you do here? Why are you here, in his abode, letting him practice on you? Hmm. You do seem to have a unique aura. Your aether is very interesting. Relax. I am gently, gently using my hands to pull back the layers of your aether and examine you. Mortals cannot tell what resides within, but I can. And no secret of yours is safe for me. No thought. And certainly no dream. Your subconscious, it is wide open to me. And I can pull from it as I wish. But I mean you no harm. I am simply curious. More layers than a mortal. Or most mortals, I suppose.
Hmm. 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 Perhaps he sees some magical aspect to this ether. It has a wispy appearance. Yes, most mortals can be seen to have a very solid, almost circular shape, a spherical shape to their aura that surrounds them and protects them from most outside influence of other mortals, but you Hmm. It is wispy. It extends out from you as if to grab energy like tendrils clawing at something. Hmm. I suppose I can see why he has taken such an interest in you. <laughs> but... I will have to continue to watch. Watch as you two develop. Form your little bond and experiment more. Mm hmm. Yes, I will be watching. I simply wish to see that you two remain safe. With an aura, this ether of yours and his, let's call it, enthusiasm for trying spells, especially ones that he has not heard of or tested before. I wish to make you more safe, <laughs> so as nothing bad happens. Dreams and sleep are a dangerous things. In our realm, sleep and dreams are one step removed from the realms of death, and so it is my duty to maintain the boundary and make sure none slip. Spells can mess with the probabilities, but that is why dream mages worship me and make offerings to me, so that the state of dreams does not slip into a realm of nightmare and death. Perhaps Perhaps you are an offering. Has he marked you? No. No, he has not. <laughs> I can rule that out then. I will not take you for my own. Not yet. <laughs> All there is is that residue of that other mark that he took from you. Which, I have a feeling, only affected you because of your aura. This ether of yours does not offer much protection. In fact, as I look deeper, your ether seems to grab and pull in everything around it. It appears to suck in ambient energy. 
like a well in a cosmic void. Hmm. You are a curious one. Here, stare into my eyes. I wish to know your thoughts, what you feel about him. Then you are adamant to stay. Very well. <sighs> Considering your unique aether and the situation in which you lie being experimented on having potentially dangerous spells used on you. I can give you something that I only give to my followers, which do not tell them, but I'm surprised that your little mage cohort has not given you one. It was a bit irresponsible of him. I will mark you as my own. Yes, my brand provides protection for you in the land of dreams and makes it so that you never slip too deeply into dreams. No, it will not hurt. Here, come closer and stare deep into my eyes. Meos estu. Meos estu. Salvus es, Salvus es, Meus es tu, Meus es tu, Salvus es, Salvus es, Meus es tu, Meus es tu, Salvus es, Salvus es, Meus es tu. Salvus es, meus es tu, salvus es. There we are. Your ether is now marked with my protection. And any other entities that lie within the realms of dreams will know that you are mine and do not fraternize or mess with you. And there will be a physical mark somewhere on you, something small, to show this to your fellow mortals including your little mage caretaker. Yes, you can tell him that it came from his deity, his deity of dreams. <laughs> okay. I have kept you long enough. And so I shall do my duty and usher you into the world of dreams with the ancient tradition of headpads. Yes. Headpads are an ancient method of pushing dream magic directly into one's head. Go with confidence into your dreams, knowing that your deity is watching over you. And you may tell your mage friend that he has my permission, and he will know what for. You need not concern yourself. And when you awaken, go with confidence into the world, knowing that I am your patron, 
and I shall protect you.